Roshni Nadar Malhotra is in the news today because she's taken charge as the chairperson of HCL Tech. Her father Shiv Nadar has stepped down as chairman but he will continue as managing director and chief strategy officer. Now here are a few interesting facets about this development, why it's significant not just for HCL but also for India Inc. Uh, if you look at the list of Nifty 50 companies in India, some of the most valuable companies in India, Roshni Nadar is only the second woman chairperson uh, of a large company. The only other woman chairperson is uh, Shamla Gopinath who is the chairperson of HDFC Bank. So from that perspective, this uh, is important. It's also interesting that uh, yet another Nifty 50 company has a woman chair chairperson now uh, in Roshni Nadar. If you further narrow it down from Nifty 50 to uh, the IT sector, it will uh, become uh, even more scarce because if you look at the top IT companies in India, uh, Roshni Nadar will perhaps be the only woman chairperson to head up an IT company and remember HCL Tech now is India's third largest software exporter uh, in terms of revenues. They overtook Wipro last year. Now the other interesting fact about Roshni Nadar Malhotra, she is the wealthiest woman in India according uh, to the IIFL Wealth Huron Rich List Rankings which was released in 2019. Of course that Rich List estimated that uh, she is worth uh, somewhere around 35,000 crore rupees which makes her the richest woman in India. We do not have the updated rankings for 2020, we'll have to see how that pans out but uh, clearly she's one of the wealthiest women in the country. Uh, the other interesting aspects about Roshni Nadar, she's no stranger to HCL. Uh, she became a member of HCL uh, Corps Board which is the holding company in 2009. She was then inducted as a board member on HCL Tech in 2013 and 2020 now is when she's become chairperson. If you look at the areas she's been focusing on, she's not really been hands-on with the IT side of the business. She's been more interested in philanthropy and education and conservation and wildlife. So she's involved with the Shiv Nadar Foundation. She's involved with the Vidya Gyan uh, Leadership Academy which works with uh, underprivileged children and empowers them with education. She is also the founder and uh, trustee of the Habitats Trust uh, which, is in, uh, which works on initiatives related to conservation. So these are some of her other interests. So I think d despite being appointed chairperson, these are some of the areas that she will continue to focus on uh, leaving uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, running of the, of the operations side perhaps to the professionals who are now in charge of HCL Tech. But uh, those are some of the interesting facets about HCL Tech's new chairperson.